Okay, so in this video I'm just going to quickly go over setting up the IK FK switch for the right hand side as we did in the previous video with the left hand side so if you're comfortable with what we did in the last video feel free to skip this video and work on the right hand side yourself or if you're quite new I recommend just following through this again just so we can go step by step through the whole rig so what we'd quickly do quickly go through this again is we did the set driven key first so we went to in the animation section we went to animate set driven key set and we loaded the driver which is the IK FK switch control select the IK handle as the driven and then we basically wanted it so when it's at zero and we can always check with the left hand side that it's set to zero and we're in IK mode so in zero we want it set to IK and then go down to the IK FK blend and we'll set that to one because we want IK on and we'll just hit key with those two values selected those two attributes hit key and then we'll select the IK FK switch switch it to one which select the IK blend and set that to zero. So we're in FK mode now. We want to switch the IK off. Hit key. So now we've created that IK FK blend. And it's so we can move the control and blend between those two. So that's working now we'll set back to zero and now we want to set up the switching off the FK so we'll go to animation rendering uh, rendering editors bring the hype shirt again and I'll just graph the network of this arm control so we can get the orient constraint and we can just hide the rest graph remove selected from graph and then add in this IKFK control graph add selected to graph and again we just want the weight set to zero when we're in FK when we're in IK sorry and when we're in FK we want the weight set to one so we can middle mouse click drag and drop go to other and we're going to connect in the right IKFK attribute into the weight and hit close. So that's now connected. Okay, so we've got those two connected. So now what we need to do is set up the forearm. And we did this because we had the forearm with the twist distribution. So we'll graph that, select the multiply divide node, graph that just so we've got this smaller graph. So we know what we're dealing with. Can you select the IKEA FK curve, go to graph, add selected to graph and we're going to bypass this, these connections here with a colour blend node as we can remember before the colour 2 is when it's in IK so we set the rotates to zero, we don't want any influence on them and then we can middle mouse click, drag and drop the IK FK curve onto the blend color. Color. Go to other, and we're going to choose the IK FK switch and connect it to the blender. So we're blending between those two two colors, those two RGB values, and then we want the first RGB value to actually be this twist distribution, the output of this multiply divide node. Middle mouse click, drag and drop. Go to other, take the output and put it into colour 1. Close. And now we want to take the output of this and put it into the rotates of these two joints. So we'll do the same. Take the output, set it to the rotate, select the next joint, reload the right, put it into the rotate. So we've got that all set up. And now we need to set this up to the visibility of these controls. 
So I'm going to select these three controls. I'm going to go graph, clear graph, graph, add selected to graph. And we just want the IKFK blend to control the visibility of these two curves. So again, we'll drag and drop, go to other to bring up the connection area, change the right IK. FK switch to the visibility. Select the next curve, reload right to reload it with the new curve, hit visibility to connect it, close. So they're hidden now. And again we want to just set up the FK to hide when we're in the IK to hide, sorry, when we're in FK mode. So to do that, we'll select the IK graph inputs and output connections get this graph node that we use for the set driven key and we can just hide the rest of these objects so graph remove selected objects from graph so just so we've got this set driven key that switches the IK and FK blend the IK blend on this IK handle on and off and we can get that to actually drive the visibility as well so I'll select these two controls, graph, add selected to graph. And also remember we want to hide this display curve as well. So in the extra nodes to show, I'm going to select that curve, go graph, graph, um, add selected to graph as well. And we're just going to get the output of this into the visible air. And we could do the same as we did before is we can right click on the bottom right arrow go to output then left click on the left arrow and go to uh, visibility so this is another way of not using the connection editor if it's a bit quicker so right click output left click visibility right click output left click visibility and we can see it's worked because we see the red in there it's keyed it's disappeared but also the disease lines here that if we hover over we can see what it is it's connecting the output to the visible air okay so now we've got both IK FK switches connected up and one last thing we probably want to do is rename those two blend color nodes that we created so we're just going to do that in the next tutorial and we will set up the rotations for these wrists 